everyone, and welcome to Season 4, Episode 21 of Pro Wrestling's Top 50. I'm your host, Travis McNeil, and today we continue our countdown of the Top 50 matches in Lucha Underground history with match number 30 on our list, which is the $100,000 ladder match between Prince Puma, Johnny Mundo, and Big Rick from the December 10th, 2014 edition of Lucha Underground titled Top of the Ladder. Um, this is a match that I feel that time has been very kind to because I remember um, at the time when it happened, you know, I still really wasn't completely buying what Lucha Underground was selling. Um, and I thought it, you know, had some good spots, but it was ultimately kind of messy and overbooked. Um, but watching it back now, I loved it. I thought it was a complete blast. Uh, this match is full of just crazy, crazy spots. Yes, it's overbooked. Yes, there's tons of interference in it. Uh, but I was re really willing to let it go. Um, and it, it's a super fun match. Um, this one is, uh, you know, uh, put on for free on YouTube. Uh, Lucha Underground was really cool in the first season. And at the start of season two, where they would kind of do like a match of the week thing on YouTube. And with those early episodes, you were really getting one you know, high quality match each and every single week. And then, you know, some of the other stuff, you know, you get the occasional fun match, but you know, it, it really took the, them some time to find their groove. Um, so the nice thing is, is that any of the matches from season one that I'm going to talk about, you know, if you do a, a YouTube search or, you know, I'll ultimately end up linking all of these on my Twitter account, you'll be able to see a lot of these matches legally for free on YouTube, which is super cool. Um, so definitely, you know, check this match out, but we'll recap that at, at the end of the video as well. Um, so this match was kind of the first, you know, real feud, you know, extended storyline angle that Lucha Underground did. And it goes all the way back to episode one where uh, Prince Puma and Johnny Mundo, they competed in the main event of the first episode of Lucha Underground. Dario Cueto, you know, being this promoter businessman that he was, offered up $100,000 to the winner of that match. Um, but ultimately we got the debut of Big Rick, who I talked about the other day. Uh, he was Ezekiel Jackson from the WWE. Uh, he came out and he stole the money and took out both guys. Um, this led to, you know, a storyline basically revolving around this briefcase with $100,000 in it, um, where, you know, Johnny Mundo wanted it back, you know, feeling that he was entitled to it, um, and he would steal the key that um, uh, Dario Cueto would wear around his neck. We would end up finding out that the key was the key to unlock the cage that Matanza was in, uh, you know, Dario Cueto's brother, um, and ultimately that key, you know, um, held the, the soul of, uh, of, you know, Matanza, right, Dario Cueto's little brother, uh, before he was transformed into the monster that he ultimately was, uh, but when, you know, Dario Cueto's father, Antonio Cueto, you know, made a deal with the gods to, to have them, you know, give him those powers, so, crazy, you know, Lucha Underground lore, um, but that, you know, this was the first feud we had. So Johnny Mundo ultimately ended up stealing the key from Dario Cueto. Dario wanted it back, and it led to him making this triple threat ladder match with the briefcase with $100,000 hanging above. Basically, whoever brings it down is now the rightful owner of that money. Um, th this match is, is, like I said, it's a mess, right? I'm, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Um, there's interference and overbooking galore. There's just crazy spots. There's, you know, setting up in between the spots. It almost feels like, you know, a early 2000s CZW match in that regard. Um, but it, it, it's just, it's so fun. It's so messy. It's so over the top and I love it. And it actually does have some smarts to it as well. Um, so at the start, you know, Big Rick, he knows what to expect here. He knows that it's going to be a two-on-one handicap match. And he very smartly bails out at the start of the match. But he makes the mistake of going for a ladder. What's the traditional spot that we see in a ladder match when somebody goes out to the floor and grabs a ladder? They get a baseball slid into him. And that's exactly what happens here. Um, he ends up stopping Mundo and Prince Puma from climbing up the ladder. Um, tries to climb himself. Chickens out. You know, they kind of do, the again, the old trope of, you know, the, the really big, you know, 300 plus pound super heavyweight isn't comfortable climbing the ladder. So that brings out the crew. So you might remember we talked about the crew in yesterday's video. Um, you know, they, they were comprised of Cortez Castro, played by Ricky Reyes. Mr. Cisco, played by uh, Lil Cholo and Bayel, played by B-Boy, who wasn't a member of the crew at this point when this match began. Uh, so the crew comes out, you know, they try to do big Rick spitting and climb the ladders. 
uh, but they get pushed off of it. And this is where we go into to overdrive with the crazy, crazy spots here. Um, so Johnny Mundo backdrops Prince Puma into a ladder that's kind of, you know, leaning against the ropes. And then he proceeds to run up that ladder and hit a dive onto the crew on the floor. Uh, it looked awesome. Uh, they tease that there's going to be like a table spot on the floor. Um, but Prince Puma ends up just in an incredible spot. So meticulous. Uh, he runs and he does a dive over Johnny Mundo, who's on the ring apron, and then through an open ladder that's on the floor um, onto, the, onto the crew. Again, just super, super impressive. Uh, looked really great. Uh, Prince Puma gives Mundo an ace crusher off the top of the ladder. That was awesome. Uh, but then this is where Rick and the crew really start to take over and they destroy, you know, Mundo and Puma. Um, Johnny Mundo gets like catapulted into a ladder um, and they're just taken out. When it looks like finally, you know, the crew is going to start to have things under wraps. We get a big comeback spot from Mundo and Puma, which was awesome. Um, Mr. Cisco gets slammed off the top rope by Johnny Mundo through two tables on the floor. Um, Prince Puma hits the double knees to Cortez Castro um, through a table, which was awesome. Um, they lay out Big Rick uh, with a Starship pain and a 630 while he's laying on a table. Um, so again, but triple threat rules. Puma and Mundo have their friendly rivalry. At this point, it's friendly that's going on. Um, they start infighting, and that allows the crew, despite being completely taken over, to make a comeback. Um, there's an awesome spot where Prince Puma goes for the, the double knees, right? The Meteora, um, and, and Big Rick catches him mid-move and turns it into a power bomb on top of Johnny Mundo, who's lying across the ladder in the corner, which looked really awesome. Um, he, it, it seems like, you know, everything is, is going to be going Big Rick's way. He hits a gorilla press slam to Prince Puma over the ropes through a ladder bridge on the floor. Just again, brutal, brutal stuff. Um, but he, you know, climbs up the, the ladder, um, he's, and he's actually on two ladders kind of slightly apart and, you know, slightly doing the splits and just in a, a really fun moment, Johnny Mundo comes in, hits the low blow on Big Rick, sets him toppling down. Um, we get the debut of Bael here. He comes out in a lucha mask. We ultimately find out that he's, you know, Southern California independent wrestling legend B-Boy, uh, which I was really excited for at the time. I'm a huge B-Boy fan. I uh, hope he's out there healing up. I know he was supposed to make his AEW debut. Unfortunately, uh, got a really bad leg injury. We love you, B-Boy. We hope you're well, and we hope to see you in AEW soon. Uh, so we got the big Bael debut. Um, it looks like, you know, they're, they're going to win the match for Big Rick. Um, uh, but we get, you know, a, a really cool spot where Johnny Mundo comes in out of nowhere, springboards onto the ladder, kicks over the ladder that has the crew on it. They all fall over and it's enough for Johnny Mundo to grab the briefcase and finally win back the hundred thousand dollars that he has been trying to get back since the first episode of Lucha Underground. Um, Dario Cueto comes out and basically says, you know, we're, we're businessmen here. You got your hundred thousand dollars. Can you please give me back my key? Um, and Johnny Mundo gives it back to him by laying him out, you know, hitting him with this big oversized novelty key. Um, it was the first time that we saw Dario Cueto get physically involved in the Lucha Underground universe. Um, and it, you know, would lead to him having a bit of a vendetta, you know, with Mundo and Puma, um, you know, throughout that first part of season one. So like I said, uh, this match, you know, run-ins galore, uh, but it's crazy spots. It's just, it's so much fun, right? We really don't see, um, you know, a ton of fun matches on television anymore. Um, you know, we, we get good matches, you know, pretty frequently. Um, but, you know, something like this, I, I equate it to, you know, AEW. Um, you know, they, they did the parking lot brawl with uh, LAX and Best Friends. They did the arcade match with Best Friends, Kip Sabian and Miro, right? And those are the matches where they're, they're just kind of messy, but they're just, they're fun to watch, right? And that's exactly what this match was. Like I said, at the time when it happened, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah it was all right. Uh, but watching it back, you know, with 2021 eyes, um, I loved it way more than I did six years ago when it initially aired. Um, so Lucha Underground, you know, we talk about it all the time, depending on where you live, you might be able to find the entire series run on Tubi. Um, if you live in an area where that's not available, you can Google search it. You can find these episodes pretty easily on websites like Daily Motion. Uh, but like I said, this match in particular, it is uploaded for free on the Lucha Underground YouTube account. I will link that 
on my Twitter for your viewing pleasure. You can follow me on, on Instagram and Twitter at Wrestling50. You can subscribe to my channel here on YouTube so that you never miss a video. And you can please join me again tomorrow as we continue to count down Pro Wrestling's Top 50. Top 50.